let's go back to talking about Mass Effect Andromeda because it's gotten a lot of shit and it's gotten a new patch to fix some things and I despite having uh, distractions from Zelda or from Nier or from Specter Knight which I'll be talking about next have really enjoyed my, my time with it I've played about 26 hours of it uh, since my last preview thoughts impressions I've been to two other worlds that I've explored like fully these these crazy jungle environment that was just lush and filled with so much interesting lore about this new race i really do enjoy like the way bioware games specifically the mass effect games do lore and introduce characters and introduce plot is so much fun to me i know the the a lot of this main quest garbage is just nonsense and not not nonsense like that's really dismissing it it's just not as interesting as the side stuff. However, this this fits more. There's so many side quests, so many little things for you to do, and they're not super annoying. They're not the, oh, fetch 10 things for me. There are quests like that, but they're not involved. They're just like, oh, I'll walk over there and pick that up while I happen to be there. Fine, whatever. Uh, like, you're getting so many quests, and there's like 15 things on the map, and I just set up course on this crazy ice planet I'm on, and I go and explore and find it. And it's so much fun to do that, to explore this world, to level up the characters, to, to maybe I'm going to try this other other weapon or level this up or, or what. I'm going to read the codex for 20 minutes because I just want to learn about this. Like, how does this species do this? What is this about? And then every single main quest mission I've done has been great. Re like, really has been great and the further I get into it the better it is in terms of story and having an actual main plot which again is something that Mass Effect 2 and 3 sorely did not have this this game Andromeda has a main plot it has a focus of like let's explore this new galaxy shit's going down and let's try and figure out exactly what's going on oh what's this new creature oh what are they doing what's this weird um scourge all about and it does that it does that so well I, I mean there are a few games, I mean, Quantum Break's the only one I can really think of in recent memory, where I'll be playing it and it's an action shooter RPG. I'm shooting these weird lasers and I'm doing all this stuff, killing these this enemy, scanning that enemy, like jumping all around with your little jet boots, which is a ton of fun. For, I'll do that for two hours, right? I'm exploring the map. I'm solving this quest. I'm picking up this loot thing. I'm listening to the banter, which is great. Uh, and then two hours of me on... The Citadel, not the Citadel, the wherever the hell it is, I forget what it's called now. Two hours I'm there, just straight up talking to people. And it's it's super enjoyable. It's just as enjoyable. Going onto my ship and talking to everyone on the ship, like that that pattern that was so well established with Mass Effect, you know, one, two, three, where you you do something cool on the on the Citadel. And then you go on your ship and you talk to people on the ship and then you go and you fight things and then you go back to the ship and then you go back to the Citadel and then you go back to, to the next mission. Like that loop is so good. And now we've got something from, um, shit, what is it called? <laughs> Inquisition, where we have the open environments and we have the side quests and there's not as many and there's, it's not as crazy as like dense unnecessarily dense that inquisition was this is so much more like just things you're doing and they're just fun to do and it's kind of mindless in a really good way to me this is it's weird and it's kind of crazy because this is exactly what i wanted from this game like i didn't because also to talk about the quest in inquisition mindless stupid main quest fine like it had all those same problems mass effect 2 and 3 also had their problems like coming to this game from the perspective of almost brutal honesty with two and three of just like no this isn't the be all end all this isn't the second coming of christ in a video game this is just a fun space adventure with an interesting story and really cool character and setting and that's what andromeda is like seeing these outposts in this crazy ice world that's not pictured here here wherever this crazy ice planet and seeing its history and what it means to the Angara, the new uh, race, species, whatever you want to call them. It has its own lore. It has its own little hooks and details in there. And it's so great. I mean, the, the, the thing that sucks about this game is it does get rang over the coals for animations, which I don't think 
are e they're easy to miss. They're easy to just ignore. Um, and I don't think like you wouldn't you wouldn't fault a game from. Tw I mean, I guess it's a bad argument to make that you wouldn't fault a game from twenty years ago from having bad animations. But like this is a cutscene right here. There are many cutscenes like this that look perfectly fine, no problems whatsoever. And with the new patch stuff, great changes. And I think this is this is a, a maybe not rare instance, but this is an, a particular instance where playing the game on vanilla PS4 or Xbox One is detrimental. I'm playing on PC. I am playing this maxed out, and it is beautiful, and it runs so smoothly. Like it is incredible how well it runs, how good it looks, phenomenal. And having these weird glitches, like I've had very few, if any. Uh, I had a I had a weird loading glitch, but that was like I alt tabbed in the middle of a loading screen. Like that's my bad. Um, I'm sorry, but like besides that, the few odd bug in a game where I just sit down and I'm like, I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna have mindless fun for two hours here. And that's the same thing I could say about Breath of the Wild, right? That's the same exact thing. Just mindless fun. I'm gonna go explore this world. I'm gonna go explore. Um, you know, the Zora's domain. It's the same exact thing. And it's getting so much shit. And I gave it a ton of shit pre-release. And I still think there are problems with it. There are many problems with it. But it kind of, to me, gl uh, glows out of those problems and just surpasses them. I, don't, I can overlook these problems. I can, for now, overlook that there are no Corians in the game. Which at this point I, I am fairly certain is confirmed, and that is very sad to me. I would, you know, like that. That's a bummer that there are things that we established in this universe ten years ago that aren't in this game. But it makes sense story-wise. It's fucking annoying, but fine, I'll give it to you. And, and there are other things like the the inventory, which they did patch now. They doubled inventory size effectively, which like okay, now I won't have to worry about it. That's great. Um, like uh, the other thing of the loading between planets that was just like this weird glorified stupid animation they patched that out i think they really could update this game and in six months people could be buying this game and getting like the, the best experience which sucks for people like me i guess they bought it early but at the end of the year this is going to be one of those games that ign or whatever looks at and highlights and it's like yeah you should go back and play andromeda like it was really good it, it they fix a lot of their things like this is better now this is better now oh wow look they added this like that's that's what this game is going to be we're not going to necessarily remember the animations as harshly and i i think that's that's what sucks about this like this game did not need to come out now it just didn't it didn't need to come out now it didn't need to come out three weeks after horizon and zelda near neo Resident Evil 7 even a week two weeks before Persona like it didn't need to come out now and and the idea that some people are saying like oh they needed to push it out for financials like I think EA is a big enough company that they can just look at their shell shareholders and be like we have Madden chill the fuck out we'll put this game out in July when nothing straight up nothing is coming out and we'll have all these polishes like, this game really could have could have used that and and it's so strange to me, and I and I I'd hate to see a franchise I really do enjoy, clearly since I'm I'm championing Andromeda when no one else will. It's sad to see it kind of crushed under this light for really no reason. I think this game is just as good as any of the other games in the trilogy. Really, it really is. The the main story is great. The side character stuff is weaker than the other games i will give it that there is some very interesting stuff there and i haven't done a loyalty mission i haven't done there's so much to do i've been to three of the five or six planets you can go to like there's so much left to see and explore and 26 hours is not enough and, and there's so many other games to play that's why it's kind of taking me forever to get to it but it, it sucks that it's getting shit on in a way that people are like, oh, I won't play it now. But it's like, this is Mass Effect. This is exactly what you wanted. You wanted Mass Effect. And you got it, though. Like, you actually got it. It's the same thing with the, 
with ukulele that it's getting these kind of all over the place reviews and people are like it's so old school and i'm like what did you want the fuck did you want i wanted banjo kazooie that's what i kickstarted okay and then that's what you give me and some people are upset about that that's so dumb that is so stupid you're that you're getting mass effect you're getting another game in that universe you love and guess what it does a lot of things better the combat is better like bar none the game looks better the game plays better the story and the character like talking to these people and the nexus the nexus that's what it's called is just as good it's just as good it's just as janky as it ever was and i don't think that needs to be a problem we played games for years where characters mouths didn't even move to what they were saying they didn't even have voice acting this is so much better than that and it's so goofy and it's exactly what i said in my other preview as soon as you start looking at this as a B movie with like B movie acting and B movie dialogue, it's good. It's great. It's freaking great. I think Mass Effect Andromeda is, is pretty incredible. I'm not going to, I like doing these like kind of updates as I'm playing a game. I did it a lot with Breath of the Wild where it was like, here's 40 hours, here's 60 and or 70 hours, here's 80 hours, like whatever little update milestones, right? And I like doing that with certain games, and I feel like Mass Effect Andromeda deserves it. It deserves just another person, What even if it's just me. No one will watch this video, right? Like, no one will. But I just want to put that out there. Like, this game is really good. And as stupid and as shitty as their PR campaign for it, and as rushed it clearly was, and re revealing gameplay in December, like four months before release, how how so obvious that this has there's a problem on the horizon so obvious at that point like even with all those problems like this game is really good and i don't know what you were expecting because mass effect 2 and 3 were not 10 out of 10 games to me and this is not a 10 out of 10 game but i'm enjoying it just as much as i enjoyed resident evil 7 and it's in that same pantheon the same level as i've enjoyed neo or breath of the wild or even near like this is easily out of all those games this is also there with those to me it is an incredible game so much fun in terms of just an rpg like if you played inquisition and you just wandered around for 40 hours you will love this you will love this like bar none that is exactly what this is this is inquisition in space but way more stuff than inquisition in terms of uh skills and leveling up and and uh like the lore is so much more interesting to me. Maybe it's just a setting, but it has everything you want. It has everything you want. And there are so many people that are just shitting all over it without even playing it or without even being honest to themselves that they would probably like it. Like, I think the best thing this game could do is probably fix up the beginning and maybe offer that as a free trial for people to really get in there like, and really see, or maybe a demo of where you're already on a planet to establish something like, cause the gameplay loop of it is incredibly good. It really is. And it's a, it's a damn shame. It, it's just a damn shame. Is this where I go and find a weird tree? This is where I went and I found a weird tree. I mean, come on. How many games do I find a weird tree in? This one. And Breath of the Wild. Lots of games have weird trees. Even this little screen shrunk down on my screen. The OBS preview. The game's gorgeous. And it's a ton of fun. Combat's great. Finding the enemies is it's fine. Like, it's just... It's a great game. This is easily one of my favorite games of the year. And at the end of the year, this will be in the top 10. Like, I don't see how it couldn't be. I'm loving it. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Mass Effect Andromeda. I think that's all I have to say about it. Also, Merry Christmas. Also, PB's great. Also, no, I haven't had sex with anyone in the game yet. Which is unfortunate, but we'll get there. I think we'll get there. The jetpack's so fucking cool. Enough.